Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs. And by Yellowfin Yachts. Hey gang, we have an absolutely beautiful morning here fishing out of Bradenton, Florida. Captain TJ Stewart got our good friend Eric Bachnick from Mirror and Lure. TJ is all over the fish. Whatever you do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. Absolutely gorgeous spring morning here. We're throwing artificials. We got Eric Bachnick from Mirror Lure on the boat, Captain TJ Stewart, one of the best on the west coast of Florida, especially at this skinny water fishing. This is kind of TJ's forte. So we're looking forward to some maybe some redfish, some snook, some trout this morning. Again, everything is kind of busted loose. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Short run from the ramp. No real need for a jacket. Weather's perfect. Should be a great day on the water. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Think it's a speckled beauty? I see red and white. Red and white? Red and white. Yeah, oh, you mean a bunch the lure of spots here. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, come on now, I know that's gotta be a trout. Nice trout though. <laughs> Hooked with a front treble hook right there. Very nice. The back is about the same color as the grass here. Mike, you want to give me an assistance there? What series is this, Eric? That is our new Pro Dog. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Old red and white, classic color. Yeah, it sure is. Great bait. Topwater's kind of leading the way here this morning, TJ. I know. I, well, look, I, I had to grab one. He's had the most action. Catches another one, and I have to tie a different color lure on. I'm telling you. I mean, I've thrown this thing twice, I haven't had a bite yet. <laughs> All right, look at that, Mike. Paddle huh? tail, baby. All right. Nice fish too. Nice fish. See a nice yellow mouth there, yeah. huh? Boy, it jumped all over that bait too. Good. Eric's got me fishing a prototype this morning because he knows that I love paddle tails. Mirror Lure's coming out with a new paddle tail. And this is what I'm fishing right here today. I like the paddle tails. I like the action that that tail gives us in the water. You can just direct swim it. You can jig it, all kinds of different things. It's a great bait. We're fishing the skinny water here, so I'm using it on a mirror lure eighth ounce jig head. And we're supposed to have plenty of these in just a couple of months, so we'll keep you posted on the release. But great new bait, obviously it works well. That's my boy, out of boy. What you got there, TJ? I got a jack, for yeah. sure. That's what you got too, isn't it? I think I do too. <laughs> oh, look at all those redfish. Oh, my heart got going. Oh, it's like, all right, finally the redfish turned on. I could see the redfish, but. Mr. Jack Revelle, well, thank you for getting my heartbeat going. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing necessarily wrong with no. the No! The best topwater fish out here. Yeah, there's That's for sure. Extremely underrated. All right, TJ, I want to see who's bigger right here. If they jumped, it what would do be you better think, than huh? catching them. Uh, He's got a nice black yeah, tail to him. Yeah, you got a little huh? bit on me. Right. You got a little bit on me. Jack Revelle. Let's see if we can get one of those redfish to go. Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. Well, that looks pretty right through there, Mike, doesn't it? Yeah, huh? it's gorgeous. What a beautiful piece of water. What you got, Mike? Little Jack. Yeah, but you saw redfish. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the fish. <laughs> hey, I'm not picky. 
tell you what, now that's a fish that just hits about as hard as any other yeah. fish out there, man. Yeah. He's talking to you, Mike. Yes, he is. He's, tell he's telling you. Catch the redfish yep, and leave me alone. Yeah, catch your redfish and leave me alone. Is that what he's saying? I think as the as a Florida fisherman, as an angler here in Florida, we become fish snobs. Because there's nothing wrong with the pull from a jack of all. That's right. There really isn't. They fight all the way to the boat. We're so spoiled, though, because we fish in this incredible fishery where we catch redfish and snook and trout and tarpon and cobe and all these great game fish that we overlook poor Mr. Jack Craval. Look at the fish right there. Look, look at him. Look at that. Look at all these redfish. Did you get one? Can you, will you put that power pole down there? I will, no problem. No, he's got a jack. Come on, redfish. No, it's a redfish. Oh. No. Yeah, it, it is. is. It's no, a redfish. Red okay. I like it. Looks like a redfish. Feels jack, like a redfish. Jack, no, get, your, get, off, get off your line. <laughs> Way to go, Mike. Well, it's, it's all the power of the mirror lure, bud. Change color up a little bit. Water really, oh. Hey, we'll give you a leader release. All right, attaboy. <laughs> you need to point for my travel. All right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> if I had dip net in my hand. Oh, God. I wanted to just, you know what I wanted to grab it for? I mean, that's actually the perfect release because we're not yeah. keeping fish today anyway. But I wanted to show that blue tail. It's Gorgeous. unbelievable. The tail it? is incredibly blue. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I won't, we won't leave, we won't talk I about I see that. a nice school of mullet coming down the edge there. What do you got, TJ? Um, I don't know, I can't tell you, Jack, I think. I don't know. Hope it's a Jack maybe with not. a maybe blue it's tail. A, no, it's a trout. Nice trout. trout. Yeah, right, we'll nice take trout. That. That a boy. Pretty fish, that a boy. You all said right, no pressure on me, I gotta get them all the way to the boat. <laughs> yeah, it's you. <laughs> that's a nice fish, though. Yeah, Look at fish. that one, yeah, that's a dandy there. Pretty fish. I tell you, that species right there pays the bills around mirror lure right yeah, there. That think? trout is, is so many states. Trout is the marquee fish, and we live in a destination here where it probably takes a distant third, but uh, we're very lucky to have a great fishery. That's an incredibly that nice is trout. A beautiful good trout. trout. Very nice. Good fish right Mike, there. you think he's kicking it in gear now? Yeah, I man, hope you not. guys, I had to step it up a little bit. You guys were taking forever, man. I <laughs> finally had to bring you to a real good fishing spot, you know? And, oh, there he goes. All right, we got him biting. Oh, TJ's oh, oh. got us on him. The water's gotten a little deeper. First thing this morning, we were fishing really, really shallow. And because I was fishing that paddle tail bait, I was fishing it on an eighth ounce jig head. But as the water gets deeper and I need to slow down my presentation, what I do is I go to a, a little heavier jig head. And it keeps that bait a little closer to that main strike zone, which is gonna be that first eight or 10 inches just over the top of the grass. I just don't, I don't personally slow my baits down well. It's, it's one of the biggest things people do wrong when fishing artificials is they tend to fish them too fast when the fish you know, maybe just don't get a look at them just quite long enough to decide to strike them. So for me, when I need to make sure that I'm staying down, I, I just up the weight on my jig head a little bit and it keeps that bait in the strike zone a little better. I'm over top of you there. Yeah, I'm gonna slide over there. You're good. Uh, let's see what it is here. Oh, it is a jack, isn't it? Yep, yep. Yep, yep. That's how it started last time. He lumped it though. Gotta be a little better one. He's pulling. He is pulling for well. All attitude, baby. Gonna do a circle. Yeah, that's what they do. Do see do and around they go. Eric, beautiful day on the water. Great baits. Give me a little history, a little background on mirror lure i mean for me it's it's a local company because it's here in largo florida but give me well, some history i'm actually third generation my grandfather harold lamaster um, he was a carpenter by trade and uh the long winters up in kankakee illinois he would go to the basement and play the mad scientist and whittle out of some hard wood and uh, he'd whittle bodies and he'd use a ball peen hammer and shape these lips 
and he would he would he would make these lures during the winter time and then take them to the Kankakee River where he started you know developing this this really good freshwater line of, of lures and uh, had a pretty good freshwater market going uh, and then in the 50s he came down here to work in the shipyards and he fell in love with the beautiful Florida, you know, waters here. To a lot of and, us. <laughs> and right, and just started designing, you know, the saltwater bait, like the famous 52M Mira lure, and then the 7M, which has caught so many snook here in Florida. Yeah. So, it's 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 sort of ironic that we got our start in the freshwater market, and we're you know we're seen as the uh, you know the saltwater lure makers yeah, now. No so. doubt, the record setters. Exactly. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That's a cool story. Is that that's got to make you feel good too? It really to, does. You know, to come out here and you know today we didn't use any of the old school baits, but to come out here and use some of my grandfather's designs that are still catching fish today. It's just uh, it's an honor. It's yeah. an honor. He's really uh, he really developed some some truly special lures. Today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Eric and I are using 7 foot 7 inch Omen and Envy medium heavy fast action spinning rods by 13 Fishing, Quantum Cabo PTS 40 spinning reels with 15 pound braided line and 25 pound fluorocarbon lead. We're throwing Mirror Lure Pro Series Top Dog Topwater Lures and Mirror Lure Little John and Little John XLs in opening night and gold with red glitter fished on weedless weighted bass hooks and quarter ounce Mirror Lure jig heads. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum, the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. 13 Fishing, make your own luck. Mira Lure, the record sellers. What do you got? What do you got? Come on, Mike, what do you got? Ooh, looks like a redfish to me. Looks like Mr. Redfish. Great job, Mike. It lumped it, I can tell you that. Coming through there at a good clip and it came Mr. to a blue tail. Nice fish. Screeching halt. You want it down, DJ, or not? Yeah, you can. Give it a shot here for a minute. Kind of ate right by that little hole right there, huh? Yeah. See if we can get a look at this one and show that pretty blue tail. Opening night. Little John. Nice fish. Under the boat. Stay out of there. Going under the boat, baby. There we go. You need a hand with him? You got it? I think I got it. All right. I'll let you keep fishing there, buddy. You know, normally that's what you do. You, you stop, you help your friend. But in this case, we're all <laughs> so competitive that everybody's like, oh, you got that? Well, I'll just keep fishing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice Lumped fish. it. fish. Right in the, huh? You think he wanted that? There he is. Uh-oh. Same spot. Uh-oh. Not the same kind of fish. Definitely different. There you go. Look at that blue tail. I think it's just a it's a future trophy redfish is what it is. Is that what it was? He jumped. Yeah. He jumped out of the water. <laughs> I think that might have been my hook set. <laughs> I was gonna Pretty say. Fresh. Oh man. Look at that. You want some help or you got that? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one. Lumped it though. He sure did. That's super cool right there. A couple of red dogs. TJ. Oh, boy, yeah, look at this. I'm just letting this, uh, you guys have it today, I guess. I'm just look at this thing unhooked. Looks like he's got another line hanging from him. Look at this. This fish broke somebody off. Right here, see the extra line? So instead of, I'm gonna look down there, the hook is way down the mouth. So instead of trying to pull the hook line out, I'm going to clip the line you as close as I can here and then release the fish. My dad's a dentist. He hates when I do that, bite that line. But we're doing it to save a redfish right there. And then put him back away. TJ? Yes, sir. Absolutely a great day on the water, my friend. No doubt about it. You uh, you got this thing dialed in. Didn't go quite the way we planned. It just kind of, you know, the day step by step was just kind of uh, a struggle. The fish seemed to move around the last couple yeah. of days, but I don't. Uh, yeah, since yesterday, you know, I mean, I'm on the water uh, 
almost too much as my wife says uh, you know <laughs> spend a lot of time out here and uh, as a full-time guide and uh, you know, you see strange things, but sure. uh, fortunately, you know, we we, uh, we scratch together. Some yeah, nice yeah, fish. we got some fish together for yeah. sure. And um, you know, I, and honestly, I've talked to a couple of the charter captains today, and uh, they were fishing with live bait, and they didn't catch what we caught. Right. I mean, we you know, we caught some really nice redfish and uh, some trout, and um, uh, you know, you got to be happy about that. Yeah, no doubt. How long have you been guiding? I've been doing it 14 years now. So yeah, that was the f famous question I got when I first started. I think I was 20 years old, and uh, they'd always ask. Well, well, you know, how, how long have you been charter fishing? And I always tell them it's my first day. My first day, man, I'm ready. They'd always ask where the life jackets were. It's all good, I, you know. Now one question I'd like to ask, if you could only fish for one fish for the rest of your life, just one, you can catch a bunch of them, yeah. but you can only fish one fish the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Man, I have one fish, I guess one fish would probably be like 10 to 20 pound tarpon. Really? Just because they are the most awesome fish when you hook them and they just absolutely go, go nuts. Yeah. And, but yeah, that's ultimately probably my favorite fish, but you always want the fish biting. TJ Stewart, thank you Enjoy so much. Me. Absolutely a great day on the water. If you're coming to Central Florida, Bradenton, Anna Maria Island, vacationing anywhere around here, Captain TJ Stewart is the man. All you gotta do is give him a shout. He'll take you fishing, you'll catch him just like we did. <laughs> catch him just like that. Just like that one, there you go. Very nice. The Real Animals Fishing Show Tip of the Week is brought to you by Mosaic. Hey gang, today's Tip of the Week, I just want to talk about the lures we use today. You know, this, the mirror lure line is so versatile. The hard baits and all of your soft plastics, let's kind of just give the viewer a look into what we were doing today because we used a lot of, quite a variety of different baits. We did. Um, I started off uh, with this topwater, it's the new pro dog that we have. I really like throwing topwater baits and we managed to catch some nice trout on it this morning right. and, uh, and then uh, we used a lot of the Little John XL. What's great about the Little John XL, it, it is a twitch bait, it looks like a stick, but when you twitch it, it comes alive in the water and it really is an effective tool out here at probing the flats. And tell me, tell me real quick before we get on, what was the motivation behind that? Because I was throwing the Little John, the original Little John. What, what made you come out with the XL? We wanted something that you could finesse fish with. We also wanted something that you could throw weedless. Okay. You know, certain times of the year we have that floating grass, it's just terrible sure. to fish with. Well, what this does, we've got a little slot on the top of the Little John XL's back and that just sort of hides that hook. I've got this rigged on a keel weight hook right here, so when, it, when, you, when you stop reeling the bait or moving the bait, it actually sinks flat. And when you get a fish, the, the lure will collapse and you'll get a good hookup set with, uh, with the Little John XL. The Little John, which you use today, is, is a fantastic bait. Uh, we typically fish this on a lead head like you were doing, yep. and when you switched to this opening night color in that clear water, you, you really started catching a lot of yeah. fish today. Great, great line of baits, great day on the water. Anywhere uh, you go to buy your tackle, make sure if they don't have mirror lures, tell them they need to get some. They can give us a call at one gamefish I know somebody we can get you hooked up. <laughs> Real Animals Tip of the Week, brought to you by Mosaic. Kind of a slow morning. First thing this morning, winds were down, it was really slow. Tide came up, ran into some really nice fish, pile of redfish, could just get a couple of them to chew, caught a couple of nice trout. The jack action has been really, really good today. Uh, redfish again are acting a little bit weird, but TJ's got a couple more tricks up his sleeve, so we're gonna see if uh, one of these spots don't produce that big pig we've been looking for all day. I got the jacks going, cuz. Jack? Oh yeah. This one's a little bigger though. <laughs> you know, these are great fish right here. If you can get in a school of jacks and you've got some young anglers on the boat, it's a great fish to teach young anglers how to catch fish on artificials because they're not real picky. They eat great drag, great action. It's a great fish to help you teach your young angler to use plastics. It really is. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, dang. They're fighting, dude. That water temp's still cool. Got a lot of energy. I think mine's just bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Man, do you think he thought that was a live bait? Yeah. He ate it. I mean, absolutely ate it.
All right, DJ, what you got? A redfish. All that excitement, TJ? Sorry, I thought he was big. <laughs> All that excitement. <laughs> Better than a Jack or Bell to end on. Come on. <laughs> hey, you know, catch one and you today. know what, Mike? I, I would have bet one. you that he was going to catch a fish here. Yeah, too. I mean, you could just the see way his he was, eyes. Yeah, he was tenacious was about no that. No question about it. He was a little tenacious right. about that, huh, boy? Look how pretty that fish is being up here in the trees. How much darker he is? Yeah. Isn't that wild? Way different than that beach fish. Yeah. You know? Whitewater fish out there. Way to go, TJ. Very nice. Sorry I made noise. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely an incredible, incredible day on the water. TJ Stewart, thank you so much, Absolutely, my man. Absolutely thank love you. coming fishing with you. Great day. Eric Bachnick. Fantastic. Great, great lures, my friend. Your company just does a great job. Thank you so I much. I want to thank you so much and, and the team at Real Animals for, for doing such a great job showing folks how to catch fish using our products. We, we, I'll tell you, you guys do a fantastic job. It's not for hard. Us. It works, TJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, TJ. <laughs> Appreciate it. Like I said, if you're coming anywhere here in Central Florida, Bradenton, Sarasota, Anna Maria Island, Captain TJ Stewart is the guy I would call. 1 866 Game Fish is the number. Give me a call. I'll make sure you get hooked up with TJ. If you want some great fishing information, you can go to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, don't let your kid be the one that got away. Real Animals Fishing Show has been brought to you by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs.